What is going on everyone? This is Marshmallow Man and welcome today to a new series. A series I am very excited to get into. Pokemon Uranium. Now, I have played a lot of the Pokemon games in my life. There's only a few that I've played all the way through because you have to put so many hours into the games. Uh, you know, to, to beat them. And there never really is an actual, like, beating the game. Because you even after, like, you get to, uh, what was it? The Elite, uh, I forget what it was. The Four, so Elite Four or something. Um... You still keep going. You don't stop. Like, you keep leveling up your Pokemon, and you just you try to get there again and win again. So it's just kind of like a, an endless hour trap, and I'm excited to get into a new one. Um, I I know the games that I have beat all the way, are, the last one, I think, was Pokemon Gold. Um, I tried a little while ago playing Pokemon Diamond, which I borrowed from Kurt, and Kurt, I'm sorry, I think I still have that. Um, and I got maybe 10 or 12 hours into it and just kind of ran out of time. Um... But this one, this will be fun. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a long time and have recently been inspired by uh, one of my friends that recently started a channel, Joe Staffa. Uh, he's playing Pokemon Blue, and it just took me back and it inspired me to actually finally play this game. Um, I installed it probably six months ago, and it's just been sitting on my desktop. Um, and for those of you who don't know about Pokemon Uranium, it... Uh, I don't know, it's it's a game made by a fan, and they use, you can tell some of the music, but it's all unique as far as the Pokemon, they're all new Pokemon, all new like types, all new map, um, that's all created by the developer, so that's gonna be really cool, I'm excited to check it out. Um, and like I said, Joe Staffa, he just started his channel out, I'll have a link to his description, or a link to his channel down in the description below, if you guys wanna go uh, show him some love. And we'll get into Pokemon Uranium now. This is literally as far as I've gotten. I'm excited. Uh, new game. I'm ready for a new game. Choose your game mode. Regular. Oh, so I guess you can do like a random thing where it mixes up the... Uh, isn't that what Nuzlocke does? I think it mixes up all the types and all of everything. We'll just do regular because I don't know like what the types of these Pokemon are because they're all new Pokemon to me. I'm ready. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Hey, nice hair, bro. My name is Bambo. Er, but if you find that hard to pronounce... How's Bambo hard to pronounce? Oh, that movie about the deer. That Disney movie about the deer. I I know what movie it is. It's just hard to pronounce. Bambi. Bambo. I can remember that. Uh, if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Um, yeah, give me give me some adventure. I'll have you journey across the region, collecting specimens for my research. Along the way, you're sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some will be willing to cooperate and some not. But you should try to be friendly with everybody. We don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There's dangers everywhere. Whether it be wild creatures or people with ill intent, You'll need to be on your guard. But keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll pull through just fine. Want the lowdown? Uh, yeah, can I check my controls real fast? Okay, arrows to move. C to confirm, X to exit, Z to run. Okay, okay, cool. Cool. F5 to register an item. Okay, no, no info needed. Oh my god, what is that? We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. So you can already see this Pokemon on the screen is something totally unique for this game, which I love. I love, um, Pokemon or Nintendo or Game Freak or whoever it was freaked out about this game and had them take it down because they used the name Pokemon. So honestly, the developer that made this game, they used the word Pokemon in it to get it noticed and for people to, uh, for people to, you know, take notice of the game and want to try it out. But honestly, they could have called it anything as a standalone game and just not use the word Pokemon and they would have been fine because it's a totally unique thing. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Okay. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now if you'll just fill out this form here. 
Oh, who am I? Is there only one guy? I, I'll be this guy. Are you sure? Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. My name is Matt. <laughs> can I can I fit Marshmallow? Nope, that's as far as I can go. Marshma. I actually kind of like that. But we'll go with Matt. Just because I'm used to being called Matt. Uh, yes. Your name is Matt, yes. Matt, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Hell yeah. Ten years ago, Matt's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Oh, look at me, I'm a cute, I'm a cute. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Oh, was that my dad, or was that me? Oh, yeah, that was my dad. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Matt. The Tando region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. Their future seemed bright. Until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does this job well, Lucille. Excellent. Is everybody, if, or if everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are fi hor fi far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer, I just checked that. So... Yep. Great. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate. Now! Lucille! You have to leave, too. Lucille! Oh my god. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area un uninhabitable for many years foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Oh, the loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. Yeah, as, as you would expect. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to Chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Matt was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Okay, we live with auntie in Moki. Ten years passed. I, Auntie's health waned. I like that flashback. That's cool. I don't think there's been a Pokemon game that has done that before. Uh, supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mokitown applied, Matt and their childhood friend Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Matt's journey began. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Matt, come downstairs. You're late. Awesome. And it starts. It's a Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. <laughs> so you can tell this game came out uh, a few months back. It's my bed. I don't need a nap right now. I can just look around the room. It's crammed full of books about Pokemon. Yada yada. Okay. I have a problem with looking around things. What is this? Is this the computer over here? Awesome. Uh, do I have anything in my item? I have a potion, just like the real game. I have my potion now. I'm gonna take it with me. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna be late. Is this my auntie? Auntie! Matt, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum, seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that we're ready, that you're ready for this. You and that boy Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable. 
But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. That obtained the running shoes. The instructions on them read to run, hold Z. <laughs> you can toggle auto run in the menu. Sniffle. Oh, oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? Oh, she likes him. And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie! Thanks, Auntie. Thanks for the kiss. Uh, ooh, what's on TV? A widescreen TV. I'd like to watch it while eating dinner. Yeah, I do like to watch that while eating dinner. Okay, uh, it's time to get out of here. Should we go through Auntie's room? That seems kind of rude. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go get our first Pokemon. Moki Town. Oh, this is beautiful. I like this. I want to run. Is this where I need to go? That's one thing I always thought was weird about Pokemon. Almost every house was always just unlocked. You can walk in. So you're finally heading out on an adventure, eh? You should... You take after your old man that way. Ah! Chin Chin. That's a Chin. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to learn all of them. I'm gonna have to learn all of the Pokemon. Okay, they said that there's a way in the menu to uh to toggle the auto run options maybe i want to turn on auto run uh i don't know what that is i'll i'll is that control maybe no that's not it um yeah i don't see it okay we'll look for that later that's not a, not a big problem maybe in here trainer card oh i have three thousand three thousand bucks bag my bag's empty this is cool I like this. Okay. Well, for now, we'll just run around. Hello. Who are you? Oh, man, you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. On, it'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Ooh. I got a rare candy right away? Sweet. Where's the professor's house? What the fuck is that thing? Hey, come here. Come here. What are you? Chin Chin. Oh, it's another Chin Chin. Hello. Who are you? I wonder what kind of Pokemon live in this pond. Probably just Magikarp. Wait, are Magikarp here too? Are there some of the original Pokemon in this game? I thought that they were all original. I mean, all unique. Hello. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region. But there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. What? There are some of the same ones too? Hey, wait up. Wait, what's going on? Theo. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? So you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Matt. Hey! What a dick. That had to have been Theo. Okay, this is the lab. I found it. Oh, I like the music. Bambo. Hey! If it isn't Matt. And, uh, your friend. Tommy, was it? <laughs> Honestly, Pops, you can't even remember my name. It's Theo. Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your jobs will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you'll both take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any test! Uh, yeah, I know that feeling. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not that kind of test that you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important that you work for it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? All right. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, Matt, are you ready to take the trainer's aptitude test? Yes. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Um, I want to catch them all. I want to catch them. Although I want to get stronger, too. I usually don't wait and see what it does first. So either catch it or attack it. Um, I'll say, I'll say a attack it. Very good. Both of you. 
Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question. Which of these TMs per would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? It's a technical machine. Oh, wait. Uh, I'll tell you later. I already know that answer. Give me that test. I'm ready. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? Uh, uh, oh, Gyarados, Gliscor, Ampharos. Gyarados. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now for your final question, and so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a trainer? Um, becoming the very best, exploring the region, making new friends. I want to be the best. I answered all red answers. Does that mean I'm, like, aggressive? No question about it. I'm going to be a Pokemon master, and nobody's going to stand in my way. Ha! Huh, I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. I'm glad you took a long time to think about it. Who am I getting? Matt. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. Yes. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Raptorch is the best pick. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I always pick uh, Charmander when I uh, would play Pokemon back in the day. I always start with the Charmander. I love the fire Pokemon. Go ahead and take it, Matt. Yes! Would you like to give a nickname to Raptorch? I was never one to give them nicknames. I just like their name. Because, like, in the anime, uh, Ash didn't give any of them a nickname. Ash would just call them what they were. Uh, hey, I'm tired of waiting. Get out of here, kid. Matt got their start already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your research, t your results too, Theo. Hmm. What did Theo get? The water one? The water one, I'm sure of it. That's what they always do. Theo, well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. <laughs> sound, you sound like a prick. But I sense something else in you. Could it be a seed of greatness? The potential... For you to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you... Or... Orknix? Orkinks? Orchinks? Is the best pick. I don't know. I'm gonna have to learn how to say all these names. Yes, my first Pokemon. That actually looked like a grass type. Matt, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please. No, not in, the not in the lab. Too late, Bambo. Matt versus Theo. Awesome, I like the battle uh, animation. Rival Theo would like to battle. Okay. Oh, it's a kitty. I wish I would've got the kitty, though. But I'm happy with my wrap torch. Sweet. I like this. We're gonna fight. Scratch, ground. Oh, I have Ember. That might be good. Let's see if that's good. That killed it. It is super effective. They gave him the grass type. That's weird. That caught me off guard. Okay, so I know that that one is grass. Raptorch gained 75 EXP and almost leveled up. Wait, but, but I was supposed to win. The other thing I never understood too is you always get money for winning battles. So is that like a thing? Like just, is, is, is it like a law or is it just like the Pokemon culture? Oh, you lost a battle. All right, let me pay out to you. There you go. Like, because it's not like they're all sanctioned matches. You just run into someone in the wild and fight them, and then they pay you money when you won. That's always weird to me. But, but how? I'm supposed to be the, the best trainer ever. That's impossible. Good trainers never lose. I, I, oh, <laughs> please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Your Pokemon are healed. Thank you. I, I wanted, wanted to be an, an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and Matt's, theirs had the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, grass beats water. That's the elemental tri the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master these matchups is an important part of being a trainer. N no way, I want a do-over. How come Matt gets a better starter? That's uh, unfair. I I'm going home. Good deal, you little fucking brat. Get the fuck out of here. Sigh, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. 
I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. Okay, are you leaving me here, Bambo? I'm going up to the entrance of Route 1 by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Matt. Okay, bye. Can I take this one? I can't take that one. I tried. I had to try. Moki Town. Alright, before we go to the entrance to the town... Uh, I'm supposed to go back home and show Auntie the Pokemon that I got. She's gonna be so proud. Auntie will be so proud. Hey, Auntie! Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye. How sweet! Is that your Pokemon? What's its name? Raptorch? It's so cute! Come back when you need a rest or if you just want to humor your old aunt. That's all you wanted? I thought you were gonna give me something cool. Okay, I need a map. That's what I need. Uh, because he said he's waiting out by the road to Route 1, but I don't know where that is. Uh, I guess I could read some signs. Hello. Listen, have you heard of the new video game? It's called Pokemon Red Version. <laughs> I bought my son the new video game all the children are playing these days, but now he won't put it down for even a second. Uh, I remember when I got Pokemon Red. I got it as a Christmas present. Oh, there he is. I got it as a Christmas present, and uh, the night before Christmas, or well, otherwise known as Christmas Eve, I went down, and uh, I snuck downstairs, and I opened it up before Christmas morning, and then like closed it back up before the morning. I was a good kid. I I think I'd like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. Yeah. Okay. Flying is strong against bugs. I knew that. Oh, is that what the Nuzlocke does? Is it makes different types strong against against different? So like maybe in the Nuzlocke, water is good against um, like grass or something. Or rocks are good against fire or something random. Who knows? Technology is incredible. I can now trade Pokemon with my friends across the world with the power of the internet. Oh, wow. Yeah, that internet. It's great. Okay, screw it. Let's go over and learn how to catch a Pokemon. Hey there, Matt. I want to show you and Theo how to catch Pokemon. Can you go get him? He should be in his house. Oh, God damn it, Theo. Alright, where are you at, you little brat? Uh, is this Theo's house? Hello, old lady. Children grow so fast. Not so long ago, it seemed that I was one myself. Be sure to have fun in your journey. Thanks for the advice, Grandma. Oh, there's Theo. He ran upstairs. What's his problem? What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear, if you did anything to hurt him... Calm down. Oh. So that's how it is. So he got the weaker, the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see. That explains it. A harsh lesson, to be sure. But losing as much is as much a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still, crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo! Theo, come downstairs right now, young man! Oh, he came. I like his hair. <laughs> Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But, but it isn't fair. Matt got the better starter than me, and now I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. <laughs> yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? You are seven years old now. You got to be a man. You're going out on your own. I don't know if he's actually seven. He just seems like a little kid. Matt, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. That's kind of interesting that my rival looks up to me in this version. Like he's... I don't know. Like, I'm gonna be maybe his friend, kind of? Oh, I nearly forgot, Matt. Theo, I have something for both of you. L like a present? Yes, exactly. Matt, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to both... Uh, to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it'll come in useful. Hey, I got a Pokepod. Can I listen to music? What's that? It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool. <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Matt. Well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Matt, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving, too. I won't see you or Theo again for some time. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lu Lucille was ever seen. Why would you bring that up to her son? 
Best of luck on your journey, Matt. By the way, I'm gonna go work on the, the power plant, which, by the way, your, your mom was last seen at one. That's rude. All right, let's go talk to the professor. Hey, prof. Oh, I gotta talk to him. Hey there, Matt. Now that you and Theo were here, it's time to begin your first lesson as Pokemon trainer and a field research aide. Now, watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit tall grass. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves and water and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Look! A wild Chinam Chianmuk monk. They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Elatux! This little guy was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's taken a shine to me, and I'd rather and I'd rather like him too. So I'm gonna keep him. Now the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Elotex, use tackle. Chin. Now that it's weakened, now's my chance to catch it. Pokeball, go. Nice job. And that's how it's done. Now Chin Monk are fairly fairly easy. But you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might want to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Ah, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Matt, Theo, these are for you. Hey, I got Pokedex. Sweet. Uh, that Pokedex is an encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill it out as much as possible. I couldn't have got, like, a Pokedex app on my Pokepod. Also, I want you to have these. Nice, got some balls. Put the balls in my pocket. Pokeballs are necessary for catching por Pokemon, of course. What's that thing these kids always say? Gotta catch them all? <laughs> if you run out, you can pick up some more at any Pokemart. Moki Town doesn't have one of those, but there are some in Kelvar Town on the other side of Route 1. So, with that said, your lesson is now over. Oh, but you have two... You two have Pokepods, don't you? Here, let me input my number. Oh, he's hitting on us. He gave us his number. You can call me any time, and I'll take a look at how your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. Special rewards. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. Thank you, Bambo. Adios. Gotta catch them all. Matt, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm gonna be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. You just wait and see. Okay, bye. Should I try to catch a Pokemon already? Should I try to catch one right here? Hello? I'm looking for a Pokemon. I want to catch one. I want to catch one. Well, fuck this grass. Forget it. I'm going to Route 1. Ooh. I like the music. I didn't get a map, did I, though? Ooh, what is this? Hell yeah, I found a potion. Put the potion in my, medi my medicinal pocket. Okay, cool. Uh, we're in Route 1. Um, I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. Yeah, there's people that we're going to be battling soon. Uh, we'll explore through Route 1 and get to try to get to the next city in the next episode. Awesome start. Awesome start. I'm, I'm absolutely not disappointed with this game so far. Thank you guys so much for watching Episode 1 of Pokemon Uranium. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments. And do me a huge favor, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!